Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mugglelover, and thank you for joining me here in Victoria 2 playing as Brazil. So, this isn't where we left off, and I gotta explain a few things. So it's January 8th, 1896. So, um, basically, at the end of last episode, we wanted to go to war with Vietnam. I went to war with Vietnam, but America kept going to war with me for some reason. Like, they just kept intervening in my war. Vietnam wasn't in their sphere, they weren't allied, they didn't even have good relations, but they kept interfering in the war. So basically... I had to use console commands and made sure that America did not intervene in my war. I don't understand why. Maybe America wants to be the world's police in 1896. Did it make any sense? Not Like I said, they weren't. Vietnam wasn't in their sphere. Wasn't even allied. Didn't even have good relations. They just wanted to kill me off for some reason. Go figure. I guess Brazil and America don't have good relations. Oh, well. Uh, so I just took them out, basically. I made sure I pieced out with America. And, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I wish I could have shown you this, but... Uh, America is special. Let's just say that. America is very special. Anyways, last time... Ooh, French Kenya. We took out Zanzibar. We actually were able to build a couple uh, guys here, too. And right now, I am justifying again on Argentina. So, that is our goal. And we'll use our allies to beat them up. If possible. They're in America's sphere. Hmm. We'll see what happens. Oh, they actually did the gas and purchase, which is kind of nice. Oh. Oh. Oh, Hello. Now, hold on. What's going on? American War of Cuban Freedom. Oh, this is good. Good. King of Italy, Germany, Spanish Republic, and the Philippines are all going to try to kill off or fight America. Huh. Cuba acquires Cuba. 492 days left. That is awesome. Also, Ecuador's in the alliance. Colombia's doing pretty well. Uh, yeah. I'm not getting any migrants. Argentina's doing pretty well. 5,000. Jesus Christ. I mean, people don't want to come here. Whatever. We'll just take them from themselves. Also, another comment from yesterday was that I don't need more industry score, which I'm trying to improve right now, but industry costs a lot of money. And Brazil does not have any good RGOs, except for some rubber late game now. Uh, let's see. Where's the rubber? Right here. And we've got a lot of rubber. And we have, do have just, like, this one iron province, as well as one right here. But I'll be trying to expand the industry, but... My goal right now is railroads. Uh, let's see. If I go to war with these guys, what would we take? You know what? We can make this really disgusting and take Santa Fe. So this, all of this is cut off, which is really disgusting. But that means we can connect our way guys down here, potentially. Hmm. We might be able to do that. Cordoba? Cordoba sounds kind of nice. We could cut, the, cut them completely off from Paraguay, which, eh, that's kind of okay. I want Santa Fe. Because they're RGOs. There's really nothing special for RGOs down here either. Uh, I mean, they have this, I suppose. Cut the marca. Iron. But that's pretty much unavailable for me to get right now. Which is okay. That's going to look really bad. I have to call up my allies for this one. If America wants to fight me, then so be it. Portugal won't join, whatever. Santa Fe. Good. And hopefully America loses their war so they get actually beaten up. That would be very, very nice. Alright, and let's pull down you as well. Alright, UK's joined. Portugal and the other one has not. Come on, America. Come fight the British as well. Oh, and I don't have my navy here, which is actually stuck in Asia right now, like I showed you. Uh, I'm going to leave that army there just in case things happen, so. Good luck coming all the way over here. Montevideo. Nice. Oh, what is that? Choose a trade policy. Cool. Now, I'll probably just say we never want to deal with that again. Whatever. Oh. All right. Well, it's good to have the UK with us. Wow, they're doing really well down here. Africa's looking pretty ticking up now. And last time we did take this little spot as well. Which is growing, which is getting better. Ooh, they got some rebels in Peru. I think that would be really good if they were like, to break apart. Or, you know, leave their sphere and have the government take over. That actually sounds really nice right now. We do want to go Paraguay as well. Which, they're allied with Chile. Which would be good. Suppress this now. Yeah, go ahead and suppress it. Um, Buenos Aires. Can I kill those guys off? That'd be kind of fun. Do that. Formosa. Formosa. That's a Taiwan. Nice. 
I'm about to stay there and take those guys out as well. And let's see what the UK can do about this. Now that's the, that's a lot of big, that's a big old stack. They can move any which way they want. I'm gonna move you guys down here first, actually. I'm gonna try to take Buenos Aires if possible. Let the sleeping jungle lie. Now nah, we good. We want more prestige. We're doing really well in prestige. Commerce traders, that's cool. I'm just gonna get those guys. Do that real quick. They're really moving up. Oh, up here. Hmm. You guys could probably do. Oh, where are you going? Reconquista. Cool. You guys come there. You guys come over there. You should be able to take these guys out there. They have no. They're exiled, so they really can't do anything. Which is good. Good for us. Come on, and good. And maybe we'll have a few more guys here. One, two. Oh, oh, we can build some Vietnamese troops too. One, two. So that's five. And then one, two. Cool. That'll have to work out for now. Indochina, I didn't realize we had so much population down there. Which is great. Hmm. Take the capital. Let those ships fight our allies' ships. Good. And we got it. Nice. Nice and easy. Love it. Let's see. Sure, why not? Oh, I have been increasing my minimum wage, so people have a little bit more money to spend, which I think is pretty good. It's awesome. Well, since we're here, Chile is actually pretty strong. They have a military score of 32. Peru. I'm hoping that they have riots and stuff like that. But you never know. I guess Paraguay's next. Uh, we can only acquire a state, which we'll probably just save scum a little bit. Just so that I can take these guys out faster. Let's see, you guys, you guys go there, you guys go there, and then we have a third army down here, which would be okay, but we need another army over here. Actually, you know what? Where's my ships? Where are they? You know what? I told you to go that way. Come back, take this group out, Let's actually build an army over here. One, two, one, engineer, horse, boom. Nice. That'll work out pretty nicely for us. And I've been trying to improve my naval stuff as well. Culture, this stuff, steam turbine, let's grab some of that. So I'm making a lot more money. Oh, Austria. Wait, why do you want to with me? What the heck? I'd rather not piss off the Germans. I'd rather have an alliance with the Germans, honestly. I'm not sure what I could really do to help out Austria, or how they could help me. I'm going to say no, just because I, I don't know how we're going to help each other out. Is America going to land in, like, Italy, or what's going to go? What's going to happen? Hmm. Increase relations with these guys, that's fine with me. So it's really not going that well for America, which is good and fine with me. Good and fine. At peace. Now, I know this looks really disgusting. This looks incredibly disgusting. Actually, can you make it down here? No, we can't. We still need to take out Cordoba. But you know what? It's okay to do it now. It's okay that we took it like this, just because we're going to keep taking more and more and more away from these guys. So that would be kind of nice. Ah, uh, Portugal, sure. I think you're still in the UK's alliance or sphere, so... Eh, close enough. Yeah, the British have really gone crazy. I don't think they got all this territory in real life. I'm pretty sure the French got a good chunk of this. Oh, well, at least eventually. But, hmm... Hmm... You both ports there. Prestige is looking pretty good. Uh, let's get a little bit more money first. I'm taxing the heck out of people. Uh, supply-wise, we're going to go to war with Paraguay, so we probably don't need this too much. Keep supply high, or taxes high for now, and I'll see you in just a little bit. Alright, my friends, now as we can tell on the screen, we can go to war against Paraguay now, for Etra Rios, just this little sliver of land. Uh, let's see, we definitely are prepared to go to war with Chile, just in case things don't go out or work so well, so we can go to war by basically late January. So we've got a little bit of time. Right now, we're ninth in the world for military power, which is awesome. Even though we basically have no capital ships, which is interesting to say the least. 
Uh, acquired state. Good, good, good. Uh, end of January. Ooh, sulfur. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, if I could get some sulfur, that'd be awesome. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, I'm glad I'm not at war yet. Put them down. Put the commies down. No, we just lost 3,000 infantry, actually. Huh. They didn't have any organization, though, so... Uh, strikes? Yeah, put them down if you can. That'd be great. Oh, hello! Spanish Florida. Where have I seen that one before? Nice. Hmm. I'm still have Yugoslavia here. I guess the increased relations with them doesn't really matter at all. Venezuela. Oh, my budget is not looking good. Oh, wait, hold on. So we had Serbia here. For, for some reason, I didn't even think or realize. I didn't even realize that Yugoslavia was here as well. Huh. Wow, Bulgaria is looking pretty darn thick. And they're Albanians having reactionaries. Is anyone going to take this over? Or like Romania, could you like take that over? That'd be kind of nice. Yeah, having these rebels is a really bad idea. They hurt my economy. So, put them down with extreme prejudice. Uh, wait them out. Yeah. Do that one. So many socialists. Hmm. Liechtenstein still exists, unfortunately. Luxembourg is gone. I think. Right? Oh, there's a tiny... Our lawn is right there. Actually. Okay, so Luxembourg is gone. Nice. I'm glad they're gone. Very nice. Luxembourgian menace. Ooh, Russian... Russians are looking okay over there. Ooh. So where are the commies? Are you guys just sitting there? Hmm. Oh, you guys came back from the boat ride. Yay. I got our soldiers back. That's great. Ah, you're up here. I see. I see. You're going to help take them out still. And you are going to be good enough. Awesome. You need two artillery pieces. Which we are maybe working on. Anyone else coming this way? Ooh, railroads, yes. And I will try to focus a little bit more on the economy and industry and stuff like this once this war is over. So. Come on, guys. Get down there. Get down there as quickly, as fast as possible. I do need to spend more money here. Lower money on our boats because we really don't need that right now. Union busting. Yes, I like union busting. Wow, we're losing... I crud ton of money. Oof. Yeah, I can't afford this. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do a little bit of that as well. Holy crud. I really don't want to lower my education efficiency that much. Education is expensive. It's going to hurt my economy. Most definitely address to parliament. Good. Yeah, holy crap. That's insane. How much? How? What are we spending on? Education is extremely expensive. As well as, as, well as of course, the industrial subsidies. But still, my god, that's, that's a bit too much. That's a bit too much. Outrageous. That's fine. If we keep it there and we can call in our allies, that'd be good. And by allies, I mean UK, obviously. Cool. Uh, uh, whoa, come on. Get down here. <clears throat> we need to be prepared for them. Let's pay off some of this debt. Jesus. Oh. 84% education. Or people can read at that much percentage. 1911. Good. Hmm. More tax efficiency sounds like it's a good thing to do right now. But let's grab two more artillery. Okay, why are you taking so long, man? Because I'm not buying supplies, because that takes a lot of money. No pensions, safety regulations, unlimited workday, throughput, 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 more attraction, more minimum wage. Well, it doesn't give them savings, really. I kind of want more savings. Unemployment benefits, generous unemployment benefits. Uh, I don't like doing increased factory costs, but you know what, whatever. Uh, no, I don't like you, America. I really don't. You're still at war. That's good. That's good to see that you're still at war. And basically, I will go to war now, too. Uh, 
Oh, and I need to call my ally in. Oops, oh, that might, that might have been bad. Yes. And a war with Chile. Well, so be it. Come on, get that other guy down here. Well, hello. We're going to immediately try to go this way and kill them off. As fast as possible. Good. Uh, I knew it would come to this eventually. Nice. Ooh, better rail system, point defense. Let's do that. You know, I'm going to go take a capital then. Um. Yeah, stop doing that. Come on. Come on, get down here. Oh, hello. Nice. First battle done. You know what? Just stay there. Stop doing that. You don't need to hunt rebels right now. Well, it's just a little bit of militancy, that's all. Just a little militancy, that's all. Is that mountains? It's desert, actually. That's not bad. Go and kill them. Good. Nice. We got the capital. And we are destroying them. Good. As we should. Another army on Anto Pagasta. Very cool. And that army is... Oh, hey! UK showed up. Awesome. Yeah, not in my territory, son. Oh, we are losing quite a few guys. Hey, the war's over, though. And all we got was this little tile. Hmm. I don't know if that was really worth it, but whatever. Alright, so now you guys can go back and do this stuff. I'm going to send you guys... Oh, my goodness. You are not looking very good. Focus a little bit more on the industry, economy, and stuff like that. You are looking okay. Let's go ahead and do this, because this is costing me way too much right now. Way, way, way too much. Max that out again. Lower tariffs so we can buy goods. Nice. Alright, railroads first. Well, we'll see what happens. Good. More education is always good as well. Just build more roads. Connect everyone together. Nice. Awesome. Alright, just a few more places here. Well, I say a few more places, but actually, it's a lot more than a few more places. Ooh. Um, sure, Ching China, if you want to find my lands. So be it, I, I guess. Oh, look at that. Patagonia has a thing there, right there too. Nice. We're at peace. We're doing pretty well. We want a wealth vote? Nope. Actually, is that war still going on? Holy cow. That war is still going on. Oh, the, I'm with the Boxer Rebellion. Ooh, all the great powers are going to war with China. Oh, that is... Interesting. Let's see, we'll map mode. Nice. We could have used that a little earlier, but whatever. Integral rail system? Sure, why not? And then we'll get some more technology for industry. So that'd be good. Anywhere that needs a port upgrade. Well, yeah, there's several places that can need it, but I don't have the money for it yet. Ninth in the world. Long live Empire Brazil. Good. Uh, that's fine. Whatever. You guys. Actually, how is this coming along? You guys are doing pretty well up there. You guys are doing okay. Good to do some more. I'm still trying to make these guys more conservative, which is basically not doing anything. Uh, wealth. Alright, cool. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'd hate to be China right now. They're getting tag-teamed on every side. 
Maybe except for the coast. But even then, I don't know, maybe. French Kenya. Oh, look at that. Nice. Expand the stuff here, too. Chartist rallies? Yeah, no. Yeah, no. No. They're still fighting over this. The Dutch and the Spanish. Boxer Protocol. Forced to submit to foreign demands. Especially to the Russians and representatives from all the great powers. Oh, boy. That can only be a good thing, right? <laughs> nice. Alright. So... RGO, coffee, the greatest stuff on the world. I should get a cup of coffee, too. But, we can do that a little later. Paraguay entered an alliance with Argentina. Wait. White piece, okay, that makes sense. Lower the consciousness just a little bit. Telephone factory, very nice, very nice. We have 80 for a score, uh, for industry. That's not bad. Could be better. What if we just build a cannery here? Well, actually, what RGOs do I have? Lots of livestock. Currently building a railroad, that's nice. We got tobacco. I can't really do too much with tobacco, though. We got a lot of rubber up here, which is awesome. Oil doesn't need rubber, but you know what does? Telephone, uh, not telephone factories, but uh, electric gears. But maybe we'll build a telephone factory up here, too. Costs a lot of money to do that. Holy cow. Um, projects. You know what? I'm just going to invest in these guys just because we can. There you go. Honestly, the RGOs are just really not great down here in Brazil, except for rubber, like I said before. It's just... Uh, Brazil just lacks the, some of the good stuff. Just some of the good stuff. They got some good stuff down here, but... Hmm. So when's the next time we can go to war with these guys? Nice. So 1903, which is fine. And Argentina is... 1901. So in two years, we're going to go back to war with these guys. It's going to be a while before we can go to war Chile. I really want to see these guys end up in a civil war or something like that. Now, right now, we're not getting any immigrants, which really sucks, because Argentina is getting a little bit, not too much. Colombia is getting quite a bit. Mexico, of course, and, of course, America and Canada. I should place Canada sometime, but that would be really difficult. I can't. I would not be able to take out America. Now, let's see what we do here. Limited safety regulations. Ooh, factory cost does go up. But you know what? We get this better factory, maintenance levels, pension... Ooh, pension levels. Hmm. Well, are we still making enough money? It seems like we're making enough money. That seems pretty good to us. Expand the factories if you can. Are there any factories that we really want to subsidize? Yes, this one is extremely important. This one's extremely important. Lower that by one, two. Good. One, two, three. Yes. Yeah, definitely encourage stuff here. You know what? I'm going to go and encourage craftsmen here. From... Rio. That'd be fine. Ooh, a nitrate factory. Good. Sure, just go ahead and spend the money to do that. That's fine. Build up some forts, maybe, just a little bit. They cost a lot of money, but that's okay. Money's used. Money is meant to be spent. Lockout. That's unconstitutional. Yes. They get more reactionary and less socialist. That's very worth it. Austria, you... I mean... Austria, you look so bad. Austria, you look really, really bad. Please just give like this to Poland. Like liberate the Czechs. All if you look like this with the, without the Czechs and the Poles, you wouldn't look too bad. Why do you own Montenegro? What happened to Yugoslavia? Uh, I'm pretty sure we saw Yugoslavia there earlier. I might be going crazy, but I thought we did. Partially westernized, huh? I could demand a punitive expedition, but I think it would just be a little too weird for us. Let's see. Oh, money? We didn't get that much money from it. Whatever. Emirate. Yeah, the UK has definitely gone around and smacked down a lot of people. Wow, that is a red Egypt. Ah, even more railroads. Good. Let's grab some more money stuff then. Administrative stuff. Let's do that for funsies. Maybe some more tax efficiency as well. Good. Oh, yeah. We definitely want to build up railroads. 10th in the world, 10th in military score. That is not good enough. We'll get it down here. And let's put up another group. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 10. Nice. Another 30,000 stack. 
Rio, absolutely. Hey, are you getting immigrants? From Santa Ana. Makes sense. Uh, forts, they're pretty expensive. Nope. Nice, flexible firepower. Very good. It's kind of nice not having Bolivia here. We can do... We can move around quite a bit more. So it's 1899. Good. Oh, quite a long auto save. Whatever. Connect the Amazons out. Curtail distribution. Search high, search low. I'll search low, I guess. Oh, that really was not a good idea. Oof. Railroads. Uh, trinket subsidies. I really don't like doing pensions. 14 hour workday. Oh, we get a good safety regulations. It's fine. Administrative efficiency. More taxes then. Factory cost goes down a little bit. That's good to see. It's very, very good, actually. We currently have a population of 28 million. Not bad. I kind of hope that there would be more right now, but you know, whatever. Whatever. Let's see, anything else? This looks pretty weird over here. That's fine. You guys do that as well. Oh, you can build stuff there? Usually when it says red, I usually be like, mm, probably not, but hey. King Cotton. Absolutely. Looking pretty good administrative wise. There you go. Ooh, yeah, let's go need some bureaucrats. Columbia. Suppress this now. We don't need to know about that. You guys are encouraging craftsmen, which is really nice. Wow, that costs so much. Columbia. Our automobiles. Ooh, we might actually do really well with automobiles, actually. Here is where we're building up all this stuff. We need more money. Oh. No, we don't. Nice. That costs quite a bit. Quite a bit. RGOs. Where are you? Yeah. Right here. Ah, better tax efficiency. I like it. You can really build uh, stuff maybe right here. Maybe another automobile factory. You're going to need electric gears. So we'll do that first. Let's see. Culture. Oh, no. Research points. Oh, but it's 19. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Where is that? Oh, I should have done this first. Mm, I, I, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go with research points first. It's probably a terrible idea. Probably terrible, terrible idea. But we're going to risk it anyways. So we've got this going. Oh, no, we got... I need that. Uh, since we're here, we must do that. More reforms? Good safety regulations? Alright, so, okay, so be it, so be it. Automobiles, yeah. Definitely build automobiles. That's fine. Go ahead and invest in them if you can. Nice. Good. I doubt we have any more railroad... Oh, well, never mind. Railroad's right here. And a railroad right there. Good, so people can move around as fast as possible. We almost have a 90% uh, literacy rate, which is really awesome. Really, really awesome. Oh, I forgot about you guys. Great. Vietnam. Good. Alright, so what's the world like right now in terms of wars? Just America. Just America is trying to fight off the world. I mean, by the world, I mean Germany and Italy, but, you know, whatever. Alright, we're getting closer to going to war with these guys again. Closer. Uh, I don't think you guys really use too much rubber. Yeah, not too much rubber here. We could try to open up all factories on a list. Let's see if any factories need to be opened up or expanded first. Let's do that. Oh, we're going to need a lot of guys in Minas Gerais. We're going to need a lot of guys. Oh, Parana. Good. Actually, you know what? Since we're at peace, got a little bit of money. Steel steamers. I'm going to make a lot of you later. 
The death of Queen Victoria. The day, day was one of glorious sunshine. Huh. Rebel factions. Well, seems like people were going to put down again, which is fine with me. Factory cost goes down. Oh, more rubber. Not sure if I really need a lot more rubber, but, you know, I'll take it. I'll gladly accept that rubber. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we definitely take this province next. Parana. Parana. Something like that. Good. So, where do we have unemployed people? Oh, Santa Fe. Hmm. Do that one first. Pensions. I'd rather have this one. 14 hour workday. Only a 14 hour workday? Good. Alright, so when. One specific day. Ooh. Yeah, they're in American Sphere, but America might not actually join them. If that's the case, I'm going to go with Peru then. And I'm going to acquire a state. Screw everything else. Yeah, Peru is where it's at. That's great. And just in case, check the supply. Come there. Come there. Bring me one more army. Right there. I should have done this a little earlier. Didn't realize it. Hmm, we need more officers, huh? Craftsman, good. Get him better. Gonna fight for our country. Good. We're making quite a bit of money now. Yep, there's that. Tax efficiency. Awesome. Oh, wow. Well, at least we don't owe people anything more. We're going to lower our taxes by quite a bit now. We're not making nearly as much money, but you know what? That's okay. If that might attract more people to come to us, so be it. And I'm not going to save scum since that was kind of okay there. Wow. Just stay with the name. Factory cost goes down. Good. Build, build, build. That costs quite a bit of money, but that's okay. Good. Still getting no immigrants, whatever. Argentina's getting some, full citizenship. Colombia's getting quite a bit. Oof. Wow. That does not look good for Europe. Or even Africa, but again, that's still part of Europe. Oh, we barely won. Excellent day. Anti rationalism. Awesome. I can do mass politics to do that one thing with uh, Colombia, that one uh, doctrine. You kind of say. We could do that, but let's go and do this. I think it'd be pretty darn important to do. Let's see. We still got our war justification going. The Italians kind of like us, yeah, yeah. Philippines, I really don't care. Wow, they're 18. That's not bad. UK, you are a great friend. The French have been really quiet, though. The French have been incredibly quiet. Paraguay, Allo, Chile, and them. It's fine. Good, good, good. And I want to go to war with these guys before we're done. I doubt the Americans will really fight us, but you never know. You never know. So. Uh, Conservative Party rocked by scandal. God dang it, Conservative Party. I'm trying to make you guys better. Oh, what's going on here? What the heck? I just wanted to see if Portugal wanted to increase relations. Is that Mexico? Um, if America fights you, I'm not gonna come in. Just saying, man. Just saying. We're gonna have social reforms. 12 hour workday, maybe? And we are almost there, so. Peru, Peru, Peru. Can't I take that tile? Because Paz Taza seems okay. Lima seems okay. But can I take that? I could take that. Is that accessed by the sea, though? Yes, it is. Which means we have to go all the way around Peru to get there. Which I'm kind of okay with. You know what? I'd rather have the iron or the coal, I mean, at least. Because that's extremely, extremely, extremely important. So, let's prepare ourselves. 
Now we're going to be running a little bit of a deficit, but not really. Excellent day. We have no precious goods, that's okay. Alright, uh, so hopefully we're producing a lot of babies. Oh, we need a lot of Brazilian babies. Look at how many railroads we've built, that's awesome. Cracked down on the communists, absolutely. Become more reactionary, which is fine with me. I'd rather have reactionaries than colonies right now. Uh, what you could use? Oh, an airplane factory. Oh, that'd be really good, actually. I'll put you in the Amazons. Or up there. Sure, we did the same thing down there, too. Let's do that. Airplane factory. Three. Hmm... Oh, we're actually spending money on on pensions. Oh. And you know what? Oh, the Minas Gerais class battleship. Reform local governments is good. Change your border policy. So in order to modernize our navy to match our rivals, we should acquire two modern battleships. The superiority of the dreadnought type battleships to other contemporary battleships is abundantly clear. We shall order two battleships, Minas Gerais and Sao Paulo. Operating these two formidable battleships will surely increase Brazilian prestige, but will cause an uproar amongst our neighbors. Oh, that sounds like a... Kind of bad idea, but we get more prestige. Yeah, who needs neighbors when you have the UK as an ally? At least for now. Yeah, and then we just need to do this. It's gonna take a while. They don't like a government type, whatever. I don't care what they want. Nice. We got two battleships with a bunch of other crappy ships. Actually, can I build some? There you go. That'll be good. And I'll get rid of some of those couple transports. And give me just one more month, and then we'll go to war. Oh, we also have military logistics, sympathy strikes. Nah, we good. Uh, curtail. Yeah, curtail. Alright. Let's do it. You know, just in case, let's save. Let's save the game, just in case things happen. <laughs> autosave, old autosave, older autosave. Very nice. Cool, let's go ahead and go to war and call our ally in. We want this tile. Let's see, Portugal will accept, as well as the UK. Actually, how much... They have nine military scores, so that's not bad. Actually, you guys come there. You guys push straight into the province that we want. Yep, now we're fighting the Americans as well. But the Mexicans did not want to join. But that's, I guess... That's probably we're going to leave it for today. Just because... Uh, I might need to save a little bit of time before we do too much. Yeah, just in case... The UK and America can't really duke it out. But let's, before we end it here... Uh, sure, Russia. You're fighting with us. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god, that looks amazing. But now I'm going to save this entertainment for tomorrow. If you liked today's video, guys, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow. As we're going to wreck Peru and hopefully kind of dismantle America maybe a little bit. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.